The Bible Treasury. A monthly magazine of papers on scriptural subjects. Volume 20, Article 4, 1894 and 1895. The Remnant in Jerusalem. A study in the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah 11. The provisional state of things imposed on Israel during the times of the Gentiles appears here in another form. Jerusalem had no longer the powerful attraction even for the people of God which it once possessed. No longer shown the Shechinah over the mercy seat in the Holy of Holies. There was no king reigning of David's house. The latter glory of Jehovah's house was not like the former. The city was sadly decayed, and slowly emerging from its heaps of burnt rubbish and scattered ruins. As gain lay at that time in agriculture, the country held out greater hopes of it. And the world, especially the strangers imported into the land, indulged in contempt and spite and ill report since the public chastening of God fell upon the Jews in their subjection to the Gentiles. Devotedness to God's will was the chief lack and test, and as there were those that answered his call, so many were sought to rouse others from their neglect. For faith would still esteem Jerusalem as the holy city, and was it not to his shame that his people, when allowed to return, should think of their own things before his? And the princes of the people dwelt in Jerusalem, and the rest of the people cast lots to bring one of ten to dwell in Jerusalem, the holy city, and nine parts in the cities. And the people blessed all the men that willingly offered themselves to dwell in Jerusalem, verses 1 and 2. It was God's presence, so far as it was then vouchsafed, which gave its special blessedness to the city that he chose, Mount Zion that he loved. That had they sinned away, but faith preserved its memory, and cherished the sure hope of its return, never more to depart. This the Christian has in the promised presence of the Lord where two or three are gathered to his name. Where this is, he never fails, in this therefore contrasted with the sad gap in Israel's history, but where are saints thus gathered? Throughout Christendom, the departure is as grievous as it is general. Not only do other names openly take his place, but doctrine and forms intrude into it, if not names, and most of all where historical continuity is men's confidence, seeing that God has solemnly warned that this would lapse into a powerless show wholly offensive to him. If there be not spirit and truth, it is none of his to own, save in responsibility of profession to be judged in due time. They only please him who cleave to Christ as their center of gathering. As the church so began, so alone is it perpetuated, the Holy Spirit being here to glorify him. Thus are his members kept according to God and edified, for thus too is there room for the free action of every gift of Christ to the blessing of each and all. And these are the chiefs of the province that dwelt in Jerusalem, but in the cities of Judah dwelt every one in his possession in their cities, Israel, the priests, and the Levites, and the Nathanim, and the children of Solomon's servants. And in Jerusalem dwelt some of the sons of Judah, and of the sons of Benjamin. Of the sons of Judah, Adiah the son of Uzziah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Amariah, the son of Shephesha, the son of Mahalalel, of the children of Phares, and Masiah the son of Barak, the son of Seol Hosea, the son of Haziah, the son of Adiah, the son of Jwarub, the son of Zechariah, the son of the Shilonites. All the sons of Phares that dwelt in Jerusalem were four hundred threescore and eight valiant men. And these are the sons of Benjamin, Salu the son of Meshalam, the son of Jod, the son of Pedeah, the son of Koleah, the son of Masiah, the son of Ithiel, the son of Jeshiah. And after him Gabe, Salai, 928. And Joel the son of Zikri was their overseer, and Judah the son of Hasanua was second over the city. Of the priests, Jedeah the son of Jwarub, Jachin, Sireah the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshalam, the son of Zadok, the son of Miraith, the son of Ahitab, the ruler of the house of God, and their brethren that did the work of the house, 822, and Adeah the son of Jeroham, the son of Belaliah, the son of Amzi, the son of Zechariah, the son of Pashur, the son of Malchijah, and his brethren, chiefs of Fathers houses, 242, and Amasai the son of Azareel, the son of Azay, the son of Meshelemeth, the son of Immer, 
and their brethren, mighty men of valor, an hundred and twenty-eight, and their overseer was Zabdil, the son of Hagdolim. And of the Levites, Shemaiah the son of Hashab, the son of Azricam, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Buni, and Shabbatai and Josabad, of the chiefs of the Levites, who had the oversight of the outward business of the house of God, and Matania the son of Micah, the son of Zabdi, the son of Azaph, who was the chief to begin the thanksgiving in prayer, and Bakbukia, the second among his brethren, and Abda the son of Shamua, the son of Galah, the son of Jeduthun. All the Levites in the holy city were two hundred fourscore and four. Moreover the porters, Akub, Talman, and their brethren that kept watch at the gates, were a hundred and seventy-two, verses three to nineteen. Next follows the record of the rest. And the residue of Israel, the priests, the Levites, were in all the cities of Judah, everyone in his inheritance. But the Nathanim dwelt in Ophel, and Zihah and Jispah were over the Nathanim. The overseer also of the Levites at Jerusalem was Utsi the son of Bani, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Matania, the son of Micah, of the sons of Azaph, the singers, for the business of the house of God. For there was a commandment from the king concerning them, and, a settled provision for the singers, as every day required. And Pethiah the son of Meshazabil of the children of Zerah the son of Judah was at the king's hand in all matters concerning the people. And for the villages, with or hamlets in their fields, some of the children of Judah dwelt in Kiriath Arba and the towns thereof, and in Dibon and the towns thereof, and in Jechabzeel and the villages thereof, and in Jeshua, and in Molata, and Bethbalat, and in Hazarshual, and in Beersheba and the towns thereof, and in Ziklag, and in Makana and in the towns thereof, and in Enrimon, and in Zorah, and in Jarmuth. Zanoah, Adullam, and their hamlets, in Lachish and the fields thereof, Azekah and the towns thereof. So they encamped from Beersheba unto the valley of Hinnom. The children of Benjamin also dwelt from Geba onward, at Mikmash and Ijah, and at Bethel and the towns thereof, at Anadhoth, Nob, Ananiah, Razor, Rama, Gittaim, Hadid, Zeboim, Nebalat, Lot, and Ono, the valley of craftsmen and of the Levites, certain courses in Judah were joined to Benjamin, verses 20 to 36. All things were to be done in decency and order, each was to do the work divinely appointed, and each had his due place. It is not otherwise now if we heed the word of the Lord. The scattered anomalous state of those that bear his name makes the difficulty great, but as the presence of the Holy Spirit cuts off all excuse for lack of power, so the written word abides the standard and touchstone of obedience. He that doeth the will of God abideth forever. It was the path of Christ, and it will be found and taken by him whose eye is single, for then the whole body is full of light.